Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest muscles and I'm going to straight away start with my greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side. I happen to take a one day break in between just to make sure my recovery is good and I'm not going to half ass my workouts like I did in my leg workouts. I was not quite impressed with myself so I took a break I recovered properly and today I feel a lot better so starting five repetitions the greatest stretch making sure our mobility is unlocked and while doing this particular stretch I still felt a little bit of tightness and my left leg I am working with my foam roller and I've realized that this particular tightness was because of my hip muscles so I need to stretch my uh, hip muscles a lot more especially in the static stretches on a regular basis to ensure this tightness is released completely before my next leg day. So we are going to now move into our deep squat. Uh, we squat every day into it uh, as deep as possible. If I am not posting a video on a particular day, it doesn't mean that I am not doing it. I do it just once in a day as soon as I get up or before going to sleep. I hold for 5 seconds just to ensure that deep squat capability is uh, retained at all times. So we are going to start off with the cable crossovers as a warm up exercise. I am going to do 2 sets close to 15 repetitions challenging weight just enough making sure there's good amount of blood flow into my muscles again i do cable crossovers by taking my arms across each other trying to touch my elbows and get the maximum amount of contraction there so every rep i either do alternate or i do two repetitions one arm down on two repetitions the other arm up whichever you like uh, way you like you can do it just make sure you take it across and try to touch your elbows make sure the cable is in line with the elbow this ensures an optimal amount of squeeze if the cable is too high or too low it might come the load might shift onto your shoulders we want the load absolutely focused on our chest muscles so for my first exercise i am going to do incline dumbbells bench press now for the incline i have chosen the least amount of incline possible so it is about 30 degrees just in between that full uh, upper chest incline and complete flat bench now what i have done is i have chosen a challenging weight and i went as explosive as possible making sure i get my 12 repetitions now i have done multiple sets of it as you can see i have done four sets of it and I have taken about 45 seconds break in between, sometimes 60 seconds. For my third and fourth set, I dropped the weight a little bit because now I was getting tired. My chest was getting a little bit sore and tight. So that's absolutely fine. Make sure you also uh, start with a challenging weight. I have chosen to do one more set of the incline press. Now with a lighter dumbbell than my first four sets, but do it in an alternative manner to get that extra amount of work done and also focus if there is any kind of instability uh, but um, fortunately there was none and I was able to uh, you know do every repetitions to my at, at least to my expectations so this is one way if you have if you feel that one of your shoulder is throwing off you can do an alternative dumbbell press and see which shoulder is causing you the trouble now we move on to our calf raises standing calf raises simple easy we have been doing this on a regular basis for my first set i have chosen to do it single leg calf raises try to load it as much as possible without using a loading belt or a vest so this way my entire body weight is focused on my one leg plus the kettlebell for my second set i have chosen to do it both the legs at a time because with one leg I was not able to get as many repetitions as I want my calf was getting tired quickly my load was shifting onto my uh, lower ankle muscles so I did not like it much or it was not so favorable but you do try it if it feels good please do continue but otherwise if if you face similar challenges you can obviously shift back to a 
two leg calf raises instead of a single leg again you can hold on to a weight if you're not able to you can do it just without any weight try to go as many repetitions as possible the best part is you don't have to take a break in between chest and calf and then again going back to chest muscle exercises as you can see i chose to uh, start off with push-ups if i have done three sets now the first set i felt extremely strong for some reason and i was able to do i think about 15 to 20 repetitions i if had i not stopped myself from doing it i would have gone about 20 but i think slowly my strength is catching up but in my second and third set is where my chest started getting tired and there was a lot of blood circulation happening i got a i got a good amount of pump in my chest so i was just able to reach that 12 repetitions failing near 12 to 15 repetition mark so three sets of it make sure your body stays absolutely straight use your core muscles to brace and then perform the repetitions for my last chest exercise i chose to do the uh, peg fly machine because the cable crossover equipment was actually occupied but otherwise you can use both of them uh, the range of motion is kind of similar maybe in cable machine you can able to cross your arms but here there is a restriction wherein the bars touch each other and you have to stop but again i have done four sets of it started with a challenging weight if i was unable to reach my repetitions i dropped the weight remember our repetition range target is always 12 to 15 repetitions when it comes to a, a cable based equipment so as you can see i was trying to get as much stretch as possible and then squeeze my chest together as much as possible now remember your chest is an adductor muscle it brings your arms towards the midline of your body so stretching them far out good but the maximum amount of contraction happens when your arms are coming really close so again try to focus on trying to touch your elbows together here in this particular equipment it is not possible the equipment wouldn't allow you that but trying to focus on that part helps you get a better squeeze as you can see how my chest muscles are squeezing in together as I contract with every repetition. Now for my forearm work I'm going to do the drop catches again with a 5 kilo plate as many repetitions as possible till the time you drop make sure you be careful while doing this particular exercise if you're not very confident you can you know stand at a little bit height use a step up box to stand at a height and do it so in case if you drop the weight it doesn't fall on your leg otherwise be careful and i do recommend shoes i am not doing it with shoes because i was confident enough to do it now for my second forearm work i'm going to just do the vertical hang as long as possible so post drop and catch i did about 45 seconds to 50 seconds of vertical hang for my forearm work so for my core work i am going to do hanging leg raises now this is a particular exercise might be a bit challenging for many so you can do the same exercise lying down which i'll be showing you in the future videos but if you are able to do this particular hanging leg raises please do join me i've done about 10 repetitions make sure your crunch at your abdominal level try to get your butt cheeks in front of you it's basically butt cheeks to the wall to get the maximum amount of crunch and to finish off with i'm going to do my static stretches with the pvc pipe or a light pipe whichever you prefer to thank you so much for joining me i hope the exercise was very effective we got a lot of repetitions we were able to do the maximum amount of work with a short selection of exercises at least for me it felt absolutely amazing i got a great pump in my chest muscles make sure you hold the static stretches at least for 20 seconds when you are in the highest or the stretched in position again if you did like the video please do drop a like if you have any kind of feedback please do drop a comment if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel i would really appreciate a subscribe because that keeps giving me that positive positive feedback so make sure you do it at least three to four repetitions hold the stretch for at least 20 seconds to ensure your muscle regains its neutral length 
try to take the bar as low as possible remember chest is for adduction and we are here performing an abduction exercise thank you thank you for joining me and i'll see you in my next video